Today we're going to talk about something that took me kind of a while to figure out, and it works well, and it's for a issue that a lot of people have with fish, not necessarily correlated, but it relates to coral because copper and some of the additives uh, that you use to treat fish issues, usually like bacterial infections or parasites, they can be tricky to, to like effectively treat, especially in a reef tank because high copper content concentration bad for coral etc 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 so we got a baby blue hippo tank when i say baby i mean he's like inch and a half probably just tiny little guy came in was doing all right it was in there for about a week feeding him a couple times a day and you know i got a little bit of ick and i put like a tenth of a dose of coopermine which is the sea chem copper additive it's a an ionic uh, chelated copper Anyway, um, I've used that effectively in like 10th and up to half doses in reef tanks and it's work well. Usually I dose it, wait a day or two, do a water change, throw some carbon in there, it takes it out. Uh, but for this, I, there's a bunch of stuff in there that I really, I just didn't want to, I go there route and it takes longer and I went back to something I'd used before which works very well for ick treatment, which is a two Seachem products that work together, Focus. And I'll hold it up here for you. And it is an antibacterial polymer for internal infections of fish. And you use that with this guy right here, which is called Metroplex. And it treats protozoan parasites and bacterial diseases. So you put the two of these together in, and they're used in a certain ratio. So it's like five parts of focus to one part of Metroplex. And... Um, the active ingredient in the Metroplex is metrodonazole, which y'all can look up, but it works very well for treating things. And I usually had used this before, and the way that I would do it, I was, would take the food, put a little water in there like I normally do just to help it thaw out faster, and then I'd mix it up together, let it sit for a while, little while, and then dump it in the tank. Usually, um, you know, I don't know what the instructions say here. It says up to every two days for up to three weeks or until symptoms disappear. Honestly, I generally do it about every day, every other day. Um, but this time when I did it, I took the cubes, and I didn't put any water in there, and I just sprinkled. And it, your people ask what food. I was using the PE mysis and the um, clanulus or whatever the red ones are, and then just like a mixed uh, coral food that's got pods and rotifers and different things like that in there. But what I did is I took the powder and I put it on the cubes and just let it sit. So it kind of like soaked up the cube juice and waited till it was about halfway thawed out. And then I took a spoon and I just chopped it up and mashed it together really well. So, it, you know, all the cubes were mixed together and then that Metroplex, you know, was mixed up in there so you couldn't see it anymore. It looked like it had dissolved into the food or mixed at least enough to where it was consistent all the way through. And then, again, instead of diluting it with tank water, I just took a spoon, took a clump of that, and then dropped it right in the tank. And the blue hippo is, is eating voraciously and doing well. He got some ick. And boom, he went and attacked that, took some big bites, and uh, lights went off a couple hours later. Woke up the next day. He looked um, noticeably better. And so this is like day, uh, the second day that I've done that today. But even then, I'd say like 80% of the spots are gone. He's still got a couple of little, you know, white dots where you can see them out in there. But it was very effective and much more effective than, you know, getting the solution of food and the medicine in a um, diluted concentration. So again, it was packed in there. And that was one of the reasons I was like, well, if you get this food and you have this additive in there and it, they're going right at and he gets like a, just a big couple bites of this food and right away he's gonna be ingesting, you know, a substantial amount of this uh, ratio of the Metroplex and the Focus. So I wanna throw that out there for everybody because I know especially when you have fish that, man, it's stressful and they're expensive and, you know, it's, it can be very frustrating, and the it's completely reef safe. I've used this for a long time on many different tanks, and it works very well. Again, it's follow the instructions. Uh, you know, use them together. They're most effective when you use the focus 
and the Metroplex together. But uh, when you do that, just take a little extra time, like make a little food mash and then put it in there. And I have done this for people. It's a preventative measure in the past and it works very well. So if you do have some fish, they look like they're doing well, you're adding some more fish at the tank. Go ahead and just put a little bit of this in. Again, it's two to three times a week. I mean, you can even just do it once a week. It's a preventative. And, or, you know, if you're worried about any contamination or water quality, again, never had any issues, just schedule the day before you're going to do your water change or, um, you know, something like that. So, you know, for those fighting fish diseases, I, my heart goes out to you, but uh, give this a try, especially in a mixed reef tank where you're not going to be putting a bunch of other chemicals in there. It does work very well. So thanks for tuning in. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll have more stuff coming for you tomorrow. Happy reefing.